<laughs> All right, let's move on to the next uh, set, which is number three is overall color accuracy. Um, um, overall color accuracy, uh, three main things we're looking at. One we've already covered is color decoding, obviously important, right? Um, then we have grayscale tracking, how close to the reference, which is D65, 6500 Kelvin, or more precisely, uh, X313, Y329 um, for the grayscale coordinates. So we'll look at grayscale because we've covered the decoding. And then the final one, which is also a biggie, is color gamut, which is another uh, reference that was developed by the um, engineers and scientists that developed HD. It's Rec 709. is is got very specific uh, co coordinates for all six colors, three primaries and three secondaries. Um, and we'll look, we have all that data tabulated as well. Um, so we'll start with grayscale. Most of the panels track gray real well, but there are some issues in certain percentages of gray which would be quite visible to you. And I'm going to turn that over to uh, Dwayne because he wanted to talk about it. So the den wakes up. LG around the word loading. That's a, that's LED halo you're looking at right there. Look at it over here. I see a whole stripe mm -hmm. going down there on that. Yeah. It's one it's of the only. issues with LEDs is the light scatter around it when, when you've got something white in the middle of the picture, like rolling credits for a minute. It can be a little distracting. Yeah. And then you get more zones in there, you get more, more, more potential for it. One zone per pixel. Yes. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very expensive. Though. Yes. All right. A reverse gray ramp that shows you basically black to above white. Okay. This is 100% peak white. This is actually 102%. So if you're seeing this line, you're actually seeing slightly above white. This represents video black right here. And then everywhere in between, 10% increments, okay? Um, Dwayne, can we talk about what we're seeing? Well, what we're seeing here is, this is more, this is a very good torture test for panels also because it actually, it shows some of the deficiencies in how it tracks gray. You know, as calibrators, we prefer to have linear grayscale across the board, which means that there are no shades of red, green, or blue in any one of these steps. However, if you look from each at each one of these panels, none of them do it 100% perfectly, you know, but um, they should because the grayscale and this grayscale ramp is really the backbone of everything above the black level. Color is on top of this. So you want this correct so that when you put your color on top of it, your color can be more accurate also. Um, for instance, right here on the Samsung, what we can see here is we have green, then a little more red, then two little green, and then something that's eh, close to where it needs to be. This is just the grayscale itself tracking up and down across the steps of the stimuli levels that we measure. Um, I would love to see the manufacturers improve on this. Um, even better for next year. I mean, this is one of my pet peeves right here. I, I can't stand to see rainbows across the grayscale because I know when I see these rainbows, the actual picture itself when I'm watching regular content is not going to be correct. It, it can affect everything from the shades of someone's skin tone to the shades of someone's actual jersey during football. I want to see what I'm supposed to see correctly, not incorrectly. Um, so if we just look, what do you guys see? I mean, I know with the uh, LG, it's one of these oddball things where I still don't know what's going on with this panel. This is correct. This is the correct color white here, but if you look at this same thing, which is only reversed at the bottom, yeah. this is yellow. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just processing. Get that right. It has to be correct. Whereas Panasonic, Panasonic is probably the most neutral out here, but I do know that 
right here in this mid range, there's a little bit too much too much blue. Yeah. Now blue, it's, it's okay to do too much blue right here because the human eye, that's one of the lesser points that we really we see blue less yeah. well than we see green and red. Exactly. So if you're gonna have your errors, at least you know, definitely have it in blue. Don't exactly. have it in green. Well, that then and again went to sleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow! Well, you gotta calibrate his green too. No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> so you're saying when if one the opposite quadrants right. are different, that's decoding. No, no, no. no. This has no, nothing to do with the coding. No, it's here. all about grayscale tracking. This is a black and white pattern. Right. There is no color in it. Right. This is all in The process. color you're seeing is um, the grayscale errors. Yeah, right. exactly. The processing could be part of it also. Exactly. It could be caused by gamma not being quite perfect also. Right. But so that looking, that looking... Rainbowish? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah. And up, and up yeah, further along, to, yeah. it's even worse, looks yeah. to me. Yeah. Like I said, this is a torture test somewhat for, for actual display manufacturers to actually get right. I've seen a lot of manufacturers starting to cheat on these things where, okay, they're looking at what we're measuring, getting those things right, but are skipping on the in-betweens. Right, and right. this right and that's here. the result of that. That's, that's the result. Your comment, Three, 20 point yes. meters, not 10. Exactly. Another, another thing I always use is a lot of the ramp patterns, because now you have even more continuous. Right, right. The more ramps you have, the more errors you can pick up. So, I, a lot of, the, again, the manufacturers know that historically for calibration, we look at the grayscale in 10 steps. Start looking at it in 20 and 30 and 40 to get the more steps correct than what the regular 10 steps won't show. So that's why it's more important. This this is perfect. I mean, Panasonic does it the best, followed by, I would say, a distant competitor of the... Uh, I would say this, yeah. although yeah. this right here, this is too much green in the, in the yeah. mid range, yeah. definitely yeah. right here. Yeah. And this looks like to be somewhere in the 40 to about 60% uh, stimuli range, which is where most content is for skin tone and everything else you see in real content.